Hey guys, Mr. Lopez here with today's Glow Devotional. Today we're going to be in Hebrews 13 and verse 17. Hebrews 13 verse 17. And we'll be talking about alpha males. Hebrews 13 verse 17 says, Obey them that have the rule over you, and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, as they that must give account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. So God is talking about how there is a hierarchy. There are people who are in charge, people who have the rule over you. You might not be in every situation the top of the pack. You might not be in every situation the leader. You may take a submissive role, a role that is lesser than the person who is in charge. I come to think about this as our pastor. Our pastor is a man given to us by God to lead our church. And as such, we are to follow him. If he asks me to do something, I should do it willingly and do it immediately. No back talk, no thinking about, well, maybe I can do it at another time or this is a better way. I might be able to discuss that but when he asks something. My answer should be, yes, sir. And that is how it should be. God says that we should obey them that have the rule over us. That is their job. And why is that? Because they care for us. They watch for our souls. Our pastor watches for our souls. He knows what is best for us. And God alerts him many times to the things that are happening in our lives. So as we come to this, talking about the alpha male, talking about that person, that we should be obedient to. Thinking about our pastor and knowing that he is in charge and we should do the things that he asks us to, we start looking at other areas in our life. We see that this thing says that they'll watch for our souls. How about your youth pastor? Do you think your youth pastor or your youth leader should be in charge? Should you do immediately what they've asked you to do? Absolutely. Why? Because they watch for your souls. They are caring for you and they are trying to guide you and direct you in the right path. In this, we were talking about how things happen in the animal world where there's alpha male and omega males. Alpha males are the ones that lead the pack and it's done without question. The rest of the pack comes and follows them. If one of the lesser animals in the pack tries to attack the alpha male, then they fight for him and they protect him. And I love that thought because that's exactly how it should be in our church. If someone says something bad about your pastor, you should protect him and you should stop them. Whoa, that isn't something that we should be saying. That's not how we should talk about our pastor. I remember that sometimes there are things that we have to stop before they get to our pastor, just to protect him, to make certain that he can continue on and not have these things continually going on in his life. So when you think about it, think about it like this. If we're to obey them that have the rule over us because they watch for our souls, we know that they've got our best interest. Know that your parents are given to you by God. Your youth pastor and youth leader are given to you by God. Our pastor is given to us by our God. And in today's society, those police officers that are out there doing a job and protecting us, they have rule over us. So don't think that you can do things just because you don't think they're right. Follow the rules. Be obedient. And be a good member of your society, your church, your youth group, and your family. So as we go into our day-to-day, -day, remember, obedience to those who have rule over you is key to keeping you safe and growing your Christian life. All right, guys, thanks, thanks again. We'll see you next time.